Hey guys, so not a regular intro, just because I don't know whether I should post this on the COD channel, Obsessive Modern Warfare, or post this on my main channel, which is X2. Depending on which one, more than likely, I will be posting it on Obsessive Modern Warfare, because this is COD related in general. So, Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies was finally revealed earlier today, and... We got two trailers. We got the the reveal trailer, and then we got a trailer of them talking about Vanguard Zombies and all the details. Now, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I absolutely am. I'm absolutely hyped for this year's Zombies, and let me tell you why. Because last year we got Black Ops Cold War, and all you guys know, at least my viewers on my main channel know that I really despise Black Ops Cold War. I don't think it was a good game, regardless if it was uh, rushed or not, regardless of how much time Treyarch had. And and uh, I'm going to be honest, Treyarch has fallen off from making good COD games. I think their last good COD game altogether was World at War, and then closely followed by Black Ops 2. Now, in terms of Zombies... Black Ops 3 was like the pinnacle of zombies. And then once Black Ops 4 came out, it just, it was shit. And then Cold War just made it worse. And yeah, I'm just an advocate that I, I don't like Black Ops 4. I don't like Black Ops Cold War. I think they're both equally shit games, regardless if they're rushed or not. That being said, I do think Treyarch is the only dev studio who can make zombies good. Now, understandably, they were the ones who created the whole zombies trend in Call of Duty, and they're the ones who can make it great, but they're also the ones who can just completely make zombies shit. And that's exactly what they did with Black Ops 4, and that's exactly what they did with Black Ops Cold War. Now, if you guys haven't heard or known, Treyarch is producing this year's zombies personally after the shit storm in my opinion of what we got with black ops cold war that makes me disappointed because i i just don't like the way black ops cold war zombies turned out like i would much rather than prefer literally copy and paste black ops 3 zombies and then I, I would be perfectly fine with that and i think the majority of the community would as well now are there some good things in Cold War? Eh, maybe. But the majority of, for me personally, Cold, the Cold War Zombies experience is boring as fuck, and I just don't like the way they took the direction of turning it into a open-world type of RPG element of zombies. I really dislike that. I think that was, like, the dumbest thing they could have done. And, well, it's Treyarch. They don't give a fuck. They'll do whatever they want. Um, but, yeah, with... Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies, Treyarch is developing the zombies, and from what we've seen in the first two trailers, I have hopes that this is going to be an amazing zombies. I, I, I feel like the way they took the storyline, yes, it's in the Dark Ether storyline, but it takes place before the Dark Ether was even like found out, like before it was a major thing. And it, it also takes place, and from what people are saying, it's a prequel to Black Ops Cold War. Love the whole, like occultism type of uh route they're taking with this storyline like the occultism that went on during world war ii and there's a lot of if you speak to certain historians there's a lot of debacle between did the ss actually um commit and actually like take part in occultism or did the ss not really give a shit about the occultism and what uh old germania and all that type of stuff because if you guys have done if you guys don't know the ss is kind of built around the whole uh germanic runes like the ss runes i would put a picture on screen but a lot of people will get offended by it so uh offensive warning here i'm just gonna put the ss so i just want to cut in real quick and mention that because of reasons I can't show the SS symbol. I just you guys know what it looks like. If you don't, the the thing that we all use called Google is a thing. The reason why I can't show it is because I don't want my channel taken down because 
for some reason, YouTube doesn't like it when you talk about history, specifically involving the World War II era, which is funny. It's not really funny. Let me just clarify. But I'm just going to wor- use the word. It's funny because the Soviets, communism, has killed just about, just about the same amount of people as the Nazis did during World War II. But we're all okay with putting a hammer and sickle in video games and putting a hammer and sickle, the Soviet flag, if you don't know what that means, the hammer and sickle in video games, movies, on YouTube videos. That's okay, but you can't put a Nazi symbol, which, and realistically, the swastika isn't a symbol of hate. I mean, it's viewed that now because of what Hitler did, but the swastika is actually a symbol of peace it's used in a lot of different cultures but hitler kind of you know fucked that up because now you can't use that symbol anymore because it's mainly used for hate now um i think that's really stupid because we're supposed to learn from our history that's why i'm a huge advocate for when games come out, specifically AAA games, and they don't have it historically accurate, like they don't have swastikas, they don't have like the correct uniforms for anything. I'm not just talking specifically about Nazi Germany back in the 20s to late 40s, uh, because like people need to learn. Like we don't want this to repeat. That's why we teach history in school is because we don't want it to repeat itself. That is the specific reason why we teach history in school and. A lot of kids nowadays don't realize why we teach history. Is they always bitch about it and say, "What what the fuck is this in my in my school and stuff? What do I got to learn about that?" Well, that's why you got to worry about that and learn about that, so it doesn't fucking happen again. So I just want to apologize. I don't I don't really need to apologize, but I just want to mention that I'm not going to show it in the video specifically because I don't want my channel taken down. Um, but yeah. So that that's just the subject I was talking about. If you guys don't know what the symbols look like, Google it and you know. Okay. So I do apologize for that little rant there. The emblem here. That's a Germanic that's an old Roman Germanic rune. Um an old Norse rune, an old Nordic rune, or whatever you want to fucking call it. Old German old Germanic type of runes. That's what I'm trying to get at. And that's kind of what the SS was kind of built around was his old shit. I, I I don't know how to put it. I don't I don't know how to put it without it sounding weird and just fucking stupid. Just just do some research on it. But my my whole point is there was a lot of debacle between historians, whether the Nazis and the SS, because I I want to put this out here because a lot of people just when they look at Germany back in the in the forties, the the early thirties and forties, maybe even the twenties will go, oh, they're all Nazis. Oh, they're all bad people. No. Uh, this is a little rant. But not all the Germans back in the early, from the 20s to the 40s, in the late 40s, I should say, not all Germans were bad. Uh, some people were just, they were just following orders just like our soldiers were back then. Granted, our most of our soldiers saw what happened during Pearl Harbor and was like, wait a minute, no. Hold on, Chief. That ain't that ain't gonna that ain't gonna happen. So most people signed up and fought tyranny, and we won the war because we're the superior military. And anyways, but I'm just gonna stop there. But anyways, the the whole occultism is it feels like this zombies might be grounded in a little bit of realism, and whether Treyarch zombies isn't. Uh, if you go back to their old roots, it is, but. I'm just excited for this year's zombies, but I'm a little disappointed because it feels like what we're going to experience with the zombies is just reused content. Now, in my... God, I really be making this video fucking long and it really shouldn't be. Quickly, while I was editing this, I just want to realize you guys saw the big dude. Uh, I already forgot the uh, name, what they're calling him, but he's basically a big ass fucking brute. You guys remember the big uh, brutes that walked around with MG42s and uh, Zombie Army Trilogy? That's basically what it is. This whole game just took inspiration from Zombie Army, Tr- Zombie Army Trilogy, which if you guys haven't played that game series, I recommend playing it. It's amazing. I love that game series. That's basically this whole thing. This whole Vanguard Zombies, it looks like they took inspiration 
from the occultism that went on back then from the SS and from the Nazis and from uh, Zombie Armor Trilogy, which did the same thing, and they just put those two together, put it in uh, Vanguard Zombies. But the giant brute guy, literally, in their own words, you can click one of the links on the description, they say in the first look video, they, in their own words, say they use miniguns. Bitch, fucking miniguns weren't a thing. They didn't become a thing until Vietnam, until like the 70s, like the even the late 70s, up until just recently, miniguns became a thing. So how the fuck are you about to tell me that miniguns are a thing back in World War II? Like, what? That doesn't make sense. G give them a fucking, like, a quad MG42 or something. Give them, like, a fucking heavy-ass machine gun, not a fucking minigun, because those didn't exist. All right, I'm sorry. I had to put that in there. Opinion and a kind of thing that I like to say is I like to say Treyarch is, like, the king of reusing content. Uh, especially with Black Ops Cold War, the whole thing is basically reused content. Most of all the zombies maps are either previous zombie maps, which I don't really have a huge problem with remastered maps, and we'll get into that in a second. But most of the zombie maps are just campaign missions, and I, I really think Treyarch just didn't fucking care. In my opinion, I know that's not the real answer, but it just feels like they didn't give a shit and just threw, gave us, they just threw shit to the wall, it's stuck, and they're like, cool, okay. So anyways, I do apologize for shit-talking Treyarch, but their last couple of games weren't the best in terms of everything. <laughs> so anyways, I'm a little disappointed because with the trailers we got and what we're getting with the launch of Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies is they're basically taking every multiplayer map from what it seems like in the trailer they're taking every multiplayer map, giving it a zombies reskin, and then they're like, here you go. And we're not getting a round-based map for this for the launch either. Some people were saying we're getting a, uh, a round-based map or a story-based map with Season 1, which apparently, again, leaks are suggesting it's coming out in a couple weeks after the launch of the game. If you guys don't know, Vanguard comes out November 5th. So a couple weeks, we maybe put that the 20th of November. And that's... The first in COD history, I, I, I hate to like throw that out there, because with Modern Warfare, it was like a month and a half, or to a, to a month of Season 1, and then Black Ops Cold War was like a month and a half away with Season 1, so we're getting Season 1 relatively quick, so I don't know if they're doing that specifically so we get a new round-based map quickly, or if they're just doing that because they feel like it. Um, whatever the case is, I'm not going to complain because that's fresh content right off the wazoo, if you will. But, yeah, from what we got is basically we're getting Outbreak and Onslaught smashed together into its own type of game mode with just multiplayer maps. And upon that, Within the trailer. Also, why the fuck does this lead German character, the Oberführer, why the fuck does his posse look like Star Wars characters? Like, they, I, I just get a Star Wars vibe when I'm looking at them, and I, I, I don't like it, but I kind of like it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Also, you think the, I, I get that he's, like, trying to control the zombies here. Like, he, the, this god gave him, oh, not god, this lord gave him these powers to, like, possess the dead and bring them back to life. You know, kind of the fourth Reich, the undead army kind of thing. But wouldn't them, like, just go out of control and kill him along with his, like, bodyguards? Like, I don't like the whole fact that he's got bodyguards that look like fucking snow troopers. Like, I, I don't know, just a side fact. Sorry for cutting it again see Shino Numa. Shino Numa is completely remastered now and it's a part of the this new Der Fangling or whatever the fuck they called it. I can't I can't remember what the name was. But it's basically their new mode, which is just outbreak and onslaught put together. And that makes me wonder are World That War remasters coming to Call of Duty Vanguard now since that Treyarch is the whole reign of their zombies experience and then sledgehammer is just taking care of multiplayer another thing is i really love how this game gave me world war ii vibes and i'm specifically talking about call of duty world war ii 
uh, Nazi zombies. It gives me that vibe. I don't know if it's just because it's Sledgehammer. I don't know if it's just the art design. Uh, the zombies look incredible, by the way. Uh, one thing that I, I will take to my grave is that whatever what Sledgehammer Games did with Call of Duty World War II zombies was amazing. And I'm specifically talking about the art design, the way the zombies look. The zombies look real and disgusting, which I hope from now on every COD studio develops on this engine. If Treyarch's next game, which is in 2023, if they don't use the Modern Warfare engine, I, I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know if they're trying to be cool and be like, oh, we're going to use our own engine. Stop it. That engine's gross. That engine's just inferior to anything. Excited for this year's Zombies. I am a little bit disappointed, though, that we're kind of just getting reused content with zombie skins on them. But I am hoping... With these World at War, the only reason why I say we're gonna get World at War remasters because let let's be real. If you're gonna put Shino Numa in uh, part of the Zombies experience for this year, you're gonna give us all the other World at War remasters. And one thing I'm hoping is I'm hoping they're not paid for. Like I'm hoping it's a part of the free content that we get that I hope just comes free with every season and is isn't like a separate paid for type of thing. And I also hope that they're not just a part of this whole new game mode that they have in Vanguard. I hope they actually make them their own survival maps, which would be great. Because on the Modern Warfare engine, IW8's engine, while playing old World at War remasters, that, oh my god, that's, in, that's incredible. I can't wait to play this year's Zombies specifically because it's running on the IW8 engine. Yeah, I, I'm just excited, but yeah, I am disappointed that we're not getting a, a original new round-based map play and what it feels like to play zombies on the Modern Warfare engine, just upgraded. And I'm pretty excited. It looks insane. It looks great. Quickly, I do want to say, now that I just remembered, um, so this is a little confusing historical-wise because... They're saying this takes place after the war, so this takes place in 1946. Now, that doesn't really make sense in all, because in 1945, the Rus Russians basically controlled the heart of Germany, which is Berlin, the capital of Germany. And then the Western Allies, such as the, the Brits and the Americans and the French and the Canadian and all that, controlled the western side of Berlin. So how the fuck does this officer who comes with this power, how the hell is he allowed to do this without getting noticed by the Russians or the Americans or the British? I, I, I need that explained to me because that doesn't make sense historical-wise because they're insinuating, and they kind of already said it in the detailed trailer, that this takes place after the World War II, so 1946, which in 1946 they kind of already were in the process of denazification, and they were already in the process of grabbing every Nazi who was, you know, who got charged with war crimes. They were already gathering all these Nazis, and I'm saying Nazis in terms of the bad Germans, because all all the Nazis were bad. And then there's the Germans. Like, there's the German military, like the Wehrmacht, and then there's the Nazis. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I get excited about his, historical stuff and that, which makes me kind of consider making a history channel, but not at the same time. Anyways, but yeah, that, that whole point doesn't really make sense to me. Like, it kind of confuses me because, like, where, like, while this is going on, while he's, like, gaining all this power from this new, uh, Dark Eighth, Dark Ether Lord. Like, how the fuck does the Americans and the British not know? Like, how do they not see this happening? And like, we're trying. They're trying to tell us that he's building this army to, you know, finish the war and have Germany the victor. But how is he gonna do that when it's supposed to be 1946 and the entire the entirety of Europe is controlled by the Allies now, and then the Cold War is about to come out. So I don't know how they're going to swing that. I don't know how. It doesn't really make sense in my opinion, but I do apologize for this long video. 
I just wanted to express my excitement in a little rant of uh, Vanguard Zombies. It looks incredible. Again, 30th time here. I am a little bit disappointed that it's kind of reused content, but that's okay because we're still kind of playing the game, and uh, that's what I'm excited for. So let me know down in the comments below if you are excited about Cold War Zombies and the way it looks, the way it feels. I, I hope they keep the occultism going. I hope they keep this um, Zarm, Zombie Army trilogy kind of inspiration in the storyline and in this game until uh, the next game comes out this year. Oh, next year, excuse me. This has been Obsessed with Modern Warfare, and I'll see you guys in the next video.